So we are back out exploring. You can see a lot of uh, build up here in the creek. You can see right there you got a nice schistos rock which is running parallel with the creek. We're gonna make our way up a bit. So again your schistos rock and it is running up here. You can see the massive piece of quartz there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by pulling a bit of material out of little cracks and crevices like that. So let's dive into some crevicing and panning. Lots of nice looking material here, lots of oxidized rocks. It looks like it's really dark in here, but it's just really cloudy out. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. All right, so we got enough material here for a first pan. Some nice quartz in there, lots of shifts. This water is cold. Seen a bit of sulfides in there. That's about it. And a few of them off. I think I see a piece of gold in there. Oh yeah. That's decent. So we got about 10 colors in there. Pretty fine, but gold is gold. Bit of gold there. Is it ever dark in here for the time of day? So you can see there you have buggy quartz. You have nice uh, buggy quartz veins running with the schists here. Lots of them. And look at this big honker of a vein. It's got to be uh, at least a foot wide. First glance, doesn't look like it's mineralized other than the occasional speck. But uh, we're gonna hammer a bit of this off and take a closer look. Lots of bugs in there.
Right behind me we have a little pool and a bunch of crevices in it. We're going to do a pound from there. See if we can uh, pull anything out of there. Following it up a bit. You got more quartz veining in there. So this is going to be extremely difficult on camera to see because you can tell everything looks fairly golden. So this is actually schist right here. But if you take a look over here, you have sort of a different color golden and that right there is gold. So this is quartz here with schist. You can see they're all interwoven micro stringer veins. So no doubt there's going to be quite a bit more gold in some of these samples. So what we're going to do is we're going to take both of these back, we're going to send them both in for an analysis because we want to see what's in here. It's definitely not all gold. This is schist, don't confuse that with gold. But because of the shade, it's difficult to see with the naked eye. However, we did find that piece right there. So we just broke uh, one of those samples open just to show you. You can see that little speck right there. Right in there, you have a speck. You know you're in a Canadian creek when you have maple leaves everywhere. So not much water up here, we got a half a pan worth. We just did a couple of these and we found some pretty nice speck count. Some decent sulfides in the last pan too. Surprised how dirty this gravel is. Quartz. Yeah, we got loads of sulfides in there for sure. We'll stick with that for now. That is all sulfides. So we got some gold in there. See if any more wash back in here.
looks like maybe a speck or two in here. There we go. One, two, three, and then up here. Pan this down a little bit more, two. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a bit more fine gold in there. So that's not bad. A little bit tricky to see. It is getting so dark in here. So a pretty interesting sample here of quartz. You can see the uh, off bluish blackish color veining going through. I'm not 100% positive but it looks like sulfo salts to me. So for those of you who don't know what sulfo salts are, they're basically in layman's term extremely rare sulfides. Sulfo salts, they're generally complex because of the crystallization at low temperatures. Unlike regular sulfides, which usually have a constant high degree temperature, most sulfo salts are also formed at low temperatures inside open cavities and are usually found with copper, zinc, arsenic, sulfide ores. They're commonly found in calcite, dolomite veins, but often quartz, and most have a lead gray color with a slight metallic luster like you just saw. They're very brittle, crystalline, and very malleable. So it's very hard to tell apart and usually you'd have to do something like uh, x-ray diffraction or electron microprobe analysis. There are certain sulfo salts though, like ones that have thallium. Uh, those are generally deep red or transparent. Same with uh, sulfo salts which contain lots of silver. We got one more pan we're going to do here from a uh, bedrock piece of quartz over there and then we're going to head out because it is very dark. Clouded over and it's extremely dark in this forest. So we've done about 20 pans today in a span of about four and a half hours. This will be the last one because it's just getting too dark. The winter fall gets dark at about uh, five o'clock, six o'clock. So we're limited, especially when you're in a dense forest. If you guys want to follow us on social media, we have a Facebook page, and of course, check out our Patreon page. Links are all in the description. Alright, let's see what we got in this last pan. Definitely a lot of sulfides in there. Alright. Nice line of gold up there. Very decent. So that's what we've been getting for about the last five pans here. Not bad. There's about 40, 50 specks in there. A couple coarse chunks. This stuff's very coarse, this gold. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the flip side.